Hello student, what's up? This is Anup Saab from Kolkata and uh, today I am going to give a new lecture on the distribution of charge between connected conductor. This is the one of the video on the series of video on capacitor. So I will tell you that uh, watch my previous video and then again come to this uh, video. You will get a proper idea about the capacitance okay so let's start here initially I'm assuming that this conductor A and this conductor B these two conductor are connected by a wire and they are initially uncharged so there is no charge okay it has a capacitance C1 it has a capacitance C2 now if a charge Q is given okay if a charge Q is given then they will distribute the charge Q among themselves okay in in what way that is I am going to search okay that is I am going to find out an expression for it so after giving charge Q there will be distribution and the distribution will stop when they will have the common potential and whenever charge is given you know very well that potential rises so a time will come that they will have the common potential and in that case in that situation there will be no further distribution of charge okay so if the charge received by A is Q1 and the charge received by B is Q2 okay so here if I am taking the value of V V will be equal to Q by C we know C is equal to Q by V so the common potential V must be equal to in this case will be equal to Q in place of Q I should put the value of Q1 and this will be equal to C1 because the capacitance of this conductor is C1 similarly in that case in this case uh, in case of second conductor this will be equal to Q2 divided by C2 and uh, they will have the common potential definitely this expression will be equal to each other so there is an algebraic expression that uh, or theory whatever we can add numerator of the fraction and as well as simultaneously I can also add the denominator of the fractions okay and they will become they will be equal to the previous expression that is this will be equal to q1 plus q2 divided by c1 plus c2 okay so now q1 by c1 is equal to this one q2 by c2 is equal to this one now again q1 plus q2 what is q1 plus q2 when the charge q is given this must be equal to q1 plus q2 because charge is not lost okay charge remains conserved and uh, the total charge is given is q and they received q1 charge and this one received q2 charge so definitely q1 plus q2 must be equal to the initial charge given that is q so here i am putting the value q q divided by c1 plus c2 okay so what will be the value of q1 the value of q1 will be equal to c1 v okay as well as from here if i will write this will be equal to c1 q c1 plus c2 from this one okay c1 will uh, go to the right side and will reach to the numerator section so c1 is in numerator q divided by c1 plus c2 similarly the charge received by second conductor will be equal to c2v and this one will be equal to c2q c1 plus c2 this is equation 1 this is equation 2 okay now if i am dividing expression 1 with expression 2 what will we get we will get q1 by q2 and this will be equal to 
c1 by c2 because all the terms that is q c1 by plus c2 will cancel out only we will get c1 plus c1 divided by c2 so here i am finding that q is proportional to c so the charge of one conductor is proportional to its capacitance if the capacitance is high it will hold large charge if the capacitance is low it will hold less charge thank you for watching this video thank you and do share with your friend this video because that's an inspiration to me okay thank you